morning, Arlington. Today is Friday, February 2nd. I am Olivia Zaccardo, along with Diana Pazola, and here's your school news. Senior walk-off desk will be moved to the auditorium doors in the music lobby starting today. Seniors leaving and returning to the building, utilizing their walk-off privileges, will enter and exit via the doors of the auditorium ticket booth. Safety officers will be stationed at the new location to scan seniors in and out of their walk-off passes. Attention seniors, reminder that the senior movie night is today at 6 p.m. Stop by Cafe C&D to watch the latest Hunger Games movie, Ballads of the Songbirds and Snakes. Make sure that you have your senior ID and there is no charge to come and watch the movie. If you still have not taken your senior photo for the yearbook, Legacy Photos will be taking their f them for free February 7th through the 9th. Please stop by the South Office if for your scheduled time. MBK Pockets and the Arlington Students Government are sponsored the sponsoring the cram and the cream cram the classroom food drive. Donations can be left Donations can be left in the barrel locations near the main entrance. The theme changes ev each week. Next week is Baby Week. Please donate things that babies can use. Help restock the shelves of the Duchess Outreach. And now here's Olivia with the rest of your news. Sign up for the Buff Bowl is in the main office through Monday, February 5th. Make sure your name is on the list by then if you want to be a player or a coach. The Homegrown Club will meet on Tuesday, February 6th at 2.20 in room uh, 1919. Are you interested in art, drawing, or graphic design? Admiral players are looking for a student to design the logo for the upcoming musical, Year in Town. The logo, the logo will be featured on t-shirts, playbills, and posters. The winner of the logo contest will receive a free t-shirt and two complimentary tickets to the show. Logos can be digital or hand-drawn. Submissions are due next Wednesday, February 7th. For more information, please pick up a flyer outside the Black Box Theater or ask your art teacher. And now here's Jack with the week, this week's sports update. What's good Arlington? I'm Jack Hammond and here's your sports update. The boys basketball team had a tough 59 to 45 loss against North Rockland. Despite the score, there were still many impressive performances with Jacob Jerome scoring 12 points, Miguel Martinez scoring 10 points, and Jerome Richards along with Jen C. Adams adding six points apiece. The boys and girls track teams became league and county champions this past week with many different runners hitting PRs and coming up big for the team. On the boys side, Ethan Green won the mile and the 1,000, Jake Vandermark won the 600, Tony Mark Jr. won the high jump, Ben Hamilton won the pole vault, Leonardo Lynn won the weight throw, and the boys 4x4 won their race along with the boys 4x8. On the girls' side, Bailey LaGuardia won the girls 1,000 and 600, Amanda Buren won the girls 55 hurdles, triple jump, and high jump, Imani Mark won the girls shot put, and the girls 4x4 won along with the girls 4x8. The JV wrestling team won JV sectionals for the second time in three years, with first place medals going to Dominguez, Goats, Turner, Rodrigue, and Jankovic. The varsity wrestling team traveled to Connecticut this past weekend, with Dylan, Dylan Eric placing first and Daniel Almeido coming in second. The girls basketball team played Poughkeepsie this past week and won 52 to 43. The team was led by Dion Garcia with 21 points, six rebounds, and five steals, along with Olivia Mrazek adding 14 points, 12 rebounds, and four steals and three assists. The men's Epe team beat Scarsdale and Nyack this past week, including a 9-0 shutout against Scarsdale. The team was led by William Gwynn and Ryan Turnoff, winning five of their six bouts. Over in the pool, the boys swim team competed in one meet this past week. Jacob Serrato led the team by getting two gold medals, Darren Karen Dees got two silver medals, and York Zhao and Daniel Minovich getting one silver medal each. The boys bowling team beat John Jay 7-0 with high scores of the day going to Ryan Lashley with 235 and Braden Casty with 239. Congratulations go to the hockey team who tied John Jay 3-3 this past weekend and qualified for the playoffs with the goals coming from Hepler, LaRue, and Gallagher. I'm Jack and that's all the sports this week Arlington. That's your news for today Arlington. It's a C-Day. Have an awesome day.